to another video. My name is Emily. It's who's the state of me today. I do normally do homeschooling videos on my with my four year old daughter Rosie. Uh, today we are changing it up a little bit, and it's not that we're not doing any homeschooling in this video because um, they learn through everything they do. Rosie is only four, and they learn through play until they are seven, Bob, mostly. Anyway, Bob, can, can you give me trip? one one minute, Bab? Okay. Um, today's video is in case um, you find yourself stuck in the house with your kids due to the current climate. Um, maybe you're self-isolating because you've got the starts of a cough or a cold or something or whatever. But um, Or maybe you're just being extra cautious and keeping your kids home. Um, at the end of this video I will mention some free learning sites that are online that we use as home educators as well. But um, to begin with I'm just going to show you a little compilation video of lots of different activities you can do with your children. While they're at home, unfortunately, I think I've lost the ones on the assault course I made for her. But cushions, all sorts, of whatever, just you can make an assault course as well. But I don't, I think I've lost the footage of that. But I'll get into the video for now. You're not counting on your abacus, you're pretending the beads are black skunks and white skunks. No, they are. They're jelly beans. Now you have to play. Jelly beans? Now, now, the wheel is here. Now you've got to spin the wheel and then go around and pick one. Oh, well, now spin the wheel. No, it's you that's spinning. Okay. You pick skunk spray. Oh, I know what you're doing. This is the game they played in Hamleys and you got jelly beans, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you some ideas. Um, there's loads more things you can do as well. And I might link a few more in the description below of different things you can do. Obviously, if you've got little ones, they're more willing to do things like... We have resorted to the telly now. There is a movie on. Um, there is things you can craft, painting, drawing... Slappy's alive! Um, Slappy's sure alive! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure uh, your older teenagers are happy to sit for hours on their computers, but obviously you don't want them to damage their eyes and you want them to get some fresh air and some exercise as well. Um, so if you do have a garden, make the most of it. And if you can go for a walk, make the most of it. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's loads of family games and things you can do and teaching your kids how to bake. Um, uh, Twinkle is uh, free to a point and then there's other resources you can pay extra subscription for. Um, 
I will see if I can think of any more and list them below. But Twinkle's a really, really good resource, as well as there are some uh, Netflix programs like Brainchild and YouTube has Travel Kids and different things to if you want to teach geography and different things like that, depending on the age your child is. This is where Twinkle's the best site because <coughs> they, they, they actually have the varying, they have the varying uh, levels. So you've got early years right up to like key stage two maybe i think yeah key stage two i think i'm not sure if it does three so yeah i hope that's helpful i will write that link below just in case for you guys they are offering a month alive. free at the moment and they're taking a month's free subscription off at the moment for if you're already there just to help out with any financial burdens that people are finding because of the the current situation but this is for anything this is for if we had a week of rain or They've got the chicken pox and they're still lively, but you can't take them anywhere. So this is just ideas of things that you can do with your children um, if you can't take them out um, and you're stuck home kind of thing. But if you can, go for a walk. Go for a walk. So uh, for now, it's a tough meet, it's a tough for the rosebear.